Salvation and Atonement, the Covering of Sins. 1 Yuchanan, John 2, 1-2 No holiday holds greater significance on the biblical calendar than Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. In Mishnah Torah 2, 6-7, Maimonides states that Yom Kippur is the time of repentance for all Jews, individually and collectively, for which term there is forgiveness and pardon for all of Israel. Therefore, it must be remembered that everyone is obligated to repent and confess their sins on Yom Kippur. So serious is that iniquity. That Ezekiel 1820 states, The person who sins is the one who, that will die. A son is not to bear his father's guilt with him, nor is the father to bear his son's guilt with him. But the righteousness of the righteous will be his own, and the wickedness of the wicked will be his own. This perfectly correlates with 1 John Two, one to two, in which Yuchon and John tells us reader that if people sin, they have Yeshua the Messiah, the righteous one, who not only pleads the case of the guilty to the Father, but who is also the covering, Kapara, for the sins for all of Israel and for every nation. Barney Caston explains, the word translated, Kapara, appropriation is somewhat misunderstood today since it is not commonly used but from the Hebrew the word is clear. Kapara means more than appeasement, it also means atonement, a term any Jew of the first century could relate to. On his execution stake, Messiah Yeshua is displayed as a kapara, a sacrifice, the fulfilment of what Yom Kippur is all about. God's appointed times, 82. My children, I am writing you these things so that you won't sin. But if anyone does sin, we have Yeshua the Messiah, the Tzedek, who pleads our cause with the Father. Also, he is the Kapara for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for those of the whole world. <laughs>